Saturday, November 28, 2015, this seven year old female spade crossbred had an oral hematoma on the left ear exactly July 28, 2015. That was four months ago. And uh, under sedation and anesthetic, I did an S shaped incision, drained the ears, and stitched up the sides. And overall, owner is satisfied with the outcome, surgical outcome of the left ear after surgery. As you can see, he did not do any ear maintenance and uh, the blood clots of the surgery four months ago are still there. Uh, the S-shaped incision has closed up and uh, I just placed horizontal mattress stitches on both, side, both sides of the S-shaped incision and uh, of course now the hair has grown back and uh, this, this year there is not much pain now today he comes because the other year you can see the right ear has a very big oral hematoma and uh, the same surgery will be done and this is quite a nice gentle dog. So we check that he's okay. His gums are alright. So he'll be going in for sedation and the same operation to uh, excise with an S shaped incision and place horizontal metal switches on this ear. Come on this ear and uh, the blood clot will be taken out and after that the ear is bandaged ear irrigation will be done and owner will do the maintenance post-op at home yeah. so this is a seven uh, this is a seven year old female dog now ear regular ear maintenance is important for all dogs but uh, many owners of crossbred dogs they don't do it that's where you see the dog shaking the, the head or scratching the ears. Now, oral hematoma is normally due to the dog scratching the ears until the blood vessels inside the ear ruptures. There are three big blood vessels inside ruptures and then they form a big clot. So there's a big swelling and uh, that is a condition of oral hematoma and it's very common, very common in the some dogs. Now there's another case here which is a which is a, come hold, hold this one which is the schnauzer. Now this, this schnauzer the owner discovered a bit of the swelling. Demon come show me the ear. Bring the dog out. The swelling is uh, the Hold, hold the dog, hold the dog, it won't bite. Hold the dog, just bring out. I just showed the hematoma. Now, this this is schnauzer. The owner discovered a, a little bit of swelling here, there. You can see. Yeah? So the beginning of oral hematoma is, starts with a small swelling. It feels like bubble. There, it's here. It's not obvious. So, in the schnauzer is due to hairy, hairy ears, hairy ears which are the hairs are not plucked. So the dog has ear infection. There's no ventilation, and the dog scratches the ear and becomes traumatized, and there's a hematoma forming. Now this side, this side is okay. So we will have to sedate the dog. It's a 12 year old dog. And the static risk is there. Pluck the ear hairs, irrigate the ears, and uh, the owner will have to maintain the ears again every three times a week. So there are two cases of oral hematoma today, 28th of November 2005. I put, put in the same hairs. There are two cases of terrapins, red ear slider with swollen eyes today or so. November 28 to 015 Saturday.
it seems to be a coincidence having two two uh, similar medical conditions oral hematoma in two dogs and swollen eyes in two terrapins not eating on uh, one Saturday morning in Topayo Vets, Singapore.